Hey guys, this time I'm gonna take you guys through a day in my life vlog being the only resident with just another registrar and an intern on an evening shift. Hey guys! Okay, I'm supposed to look here, not here. Uh, but yeah, so I just got ready for my afternoon shift. So I'm starting my shifts around 2, 2.30 these days. And it goes all the way until 10 technically. Uh, so what I do is I usually wake up around 11 o'clock and then I get ready and I get to work. And I usually eat at work. And um, this is the shifts. I'll tell you guys more about it. But anyways, I wake up that late usually because the shift finishes around 9, 30, 10. So by the time I get home, I have a shower, I eat and everything and I go to sleep it's actually a little late so waking up at 11 is like a decent time for me uh but yeah so that's kind of it we're just gonna i'm all dressed up so i'm just gonna grab a couple of things and i'm gonna head out i don't know if you guys know will notice it but i filmed this and the rest of my video on two different days um and if you look at my nails you can see that i'm having the same scrubs though but i really couldn't film myself the other day so i decided i'm just gonna make this today because it's literally the same routine but the rest of the stuff is from when i initially filmed it but yeah just just don't mind my nails so i usually take the train to work and it's honestly not that much of a journey i get on the train and it's about i think about 10 15 minutes and then i have to get onto a bus and that takes about 15 20 minutes as well so it's not too bad and today was a sunny day so it the weather's good and when the weather's good i honestly really don't mind taking public transport but yeah the hospital itself is not a very big hospital. It's called a subacute center, which means it's mainly patients who are stable. And most of these patients are geriatric or rehabilitation patients. So these are patients who come usually after conditions that leave them requiring rehabilitation. I'll explain to you guys a bit more about it in detail but now I'm just heading to the HMO common room so that's like a residence area where we stay during the shift so it has computers and there's a bathroom nearby there's a code that we kind of need to enter this is kind of what it looks like and that's where residents spend the night as well when we do night shifts so it's pretty all right I mean nothing too fancy but we'll take what we get so I tap on to log into my computer and I also carry a pager but this is usually for like code blues, met calls or code greys. We don't really use the pager as much, we use something called Barry instead. So this is actually a list I make. So I write down the wards that are in the hospital and I write down any jobs or any handovers I get from that ward. So jobs could be anything from reviewing a patient to putting a cannula in or chasing a scan and I usually write them down and tick them off as I go so making sure that I cover everything. In addition to this of course the nurses bury us about other jobs that we need to do this is just usually handover from the doctors. So we still wear surgical masks in hospital but we also have N95 masks which is mask we are fit tested for. So these are a couple of masks and there's all sorts of types because different people are differently fit tested for each. Um, and nowadays actually we don't like count up and everything for COVID. We mainly just wear the masks, sometimes we wear gloves. But yeah, that's about it. This mainly happened during COVID days where they needed to make sure that we don't have any air leakages when we go to see COVID patients in like negative pressure rooms. As you guys might notice, this hospital is actually quite old. Um, it's one of the more older hospitals in the group of hospitals I work in, but it's okay. It still functions fine. It's still bright outside because this was shot during more of the summertime, so the sun was still up even at like 7 p.m. So I came back to the HMO common room and what we usually do is we eat whenever we have the time. So I tried out these meal kits called My Muscle Chef. It's quite popular here in Australia. It is fine. Some meals taste better than the others. This one was actually all right. And then I get started on other jobs I can do remotely. So that's mainly just looking at blood results, looking at scans, etc. 
so at this point i just have my lunch i usually eat and i have the chance because you never know what can happen especially once everyone else leaves so usually people are done around five and from five to ten it's usually like i said just the three of us so yeah i don't know what i'm doing here but i think i'm showing you guys my fit okay test test time I was trying not to talk too much while I was in the HMO common room because you never know who is next door and I don't want to sound weird talking to myself when actually I'm just recording myself. But yeah, uh, I really like it when the sun's up. I think that's probably why I took a couple of videos. But yeah, now I'm just going to call someone, see if I have to do any consults, basically helping out other teams. Anyways, like I was saying, this is a sub-acute hospital. So that means anyone who's very unwell cannot be treated here because these patients are supposed to be here for rehabilitation or they are geriatric patients which are older patients who need discharge planning and by discharge planning we mean basically getting the patients back to a level of function where they can go home safely or where they can go to an aged care facility so yeah there's a lot of discharge planning that happens here but we don't usually help out with that because we are only covering the after hours which is the evenings so i'm getting ready to do a cannula a lot of people ask me whether doctors do cannulas here and we actually do a lot of cannulas especially in this hospital sometimes the nurses can do it but most times we actually end up doing it now it's much darker and as you can see the hallways are quite empty because it's a bit late now but yeah i'm almost completely done with all the jobs i was handed over but there's still a couple of things that are pending i just can't stand my nail polish at this point it really needs to get removed this is kind of what the hallways of the hospital look like at night and they kind of give me creepy vibes but what can we do um we gotta deal with this so we are heading to the ward because i have to do a cannula and see a patient and it actually looks so dark and creepy outside but i'm kind of used to this now so yeah i just came up to the ward uh i did those jobs i was asked to do earlier and then i had to certify a death actually we do have a lot of deaths that happen after hours and we kind of had to do this death verification process which is basically where we verify the patient's death and then we fill out a death certificate and something called a risk man and we usually call and inform the family if they're not around also guys look at what i saw in like the stairwell yeah, that was kind of creepy. Honestly, I don't know where that leads to, but I don't want to find out. Just another fit check for you guys. I'm wearing all pink today. So I got a bit busy after. I had to see a couple of sick patients and I really couldn't record anything afterwards. But now my shift is done and I'm heading home after I hand it over to the night HMOs. So the night team basically starts at 10 p.m. and they finish at around 8.30 a.m. So now it's dark, it's around 10 p.m. and I just call an Uber because I'm not going to take public transport back home and I'm going to enjoy my ride back home and sleep in. Honestly, the shift itself was not too bad. It did get a bit busy towards the end, but that's okay. These shifts are unpredictable and I'm just happy to be going home. Hi, so I got home, I'm in my PJs and I'm ready to go to sleep. If you look at my eyes, you can see that I'm super tired. Uh, but yeah, another shift starts tomorrow, so I'm gonna get some rest. I hope you guys enjoyed the vlog. And if you did like the video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you guys next time. Bye!